Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to configure and send data to tandem streams using two examples. In the first example, I will send data to our tandem stream with Postman. The second example will use an emulated device from Disruptive Technologies. As I begin, there is some important context that needs to be in place before trying to import streams. Within tandem, I have created a facility and uploaded models. I also have a facility template with a classification for my stream with a parameter whose data type is set to numeric. This is important since tandem streams can only ingest numeric data. With that context, I will go to the streams panel and create a new stream. Once created, I want to be sure and classify it with my thermostat classification, which includes my temperature parameter. Now, in Postman, I have a key value pair in JSON format. I could also add time, but if it is not provided, Tandem will use the server time when the post request is sent. I want to ensure that the request is set to post and that the body is set to JSON format. I will then use the link icon in Tandem associated to my connection and paste that as the URL for the post request. Also make note that because I am posting to a specific stream, I do not need to specify any authorizations or headers. It is embedded in the stream URL. With that in place, I will click send. On the initial send, I don't actually see our temperature populate. That's because I need to click on the three dot glyph and configure my connection. While the payload was successfully received, it needs to be mapped so it knows which incoming value goes with which tandem parameters. Once the mapping is finished, I can send the payload a second time and now I see my data. Now let's look at the second example. In this case, the device has an interface where I can configure settings for the device as well as providing a utility for creating a data connection. Similar to Postman, I will simply paste the Tandem Connections HTTP endpoint into the endpoint URL and save the configuration. By browsing back to my emulated sensor, I will set the temperature and send the event. As before, in Tandem, I want to double check my configuration, make any mapping adjustments, and send a second time. Finally, for facilities that may have dozens or more connections, I can take advantage of using a device ID with an authorization at the facility level so that incoming payloads are delivered to their correct stream connection. I can get all the connection IDs by using the export connections list from the tandem menu. Once I have that value, I will go back to the emulated device and add a label key. In this example, I will call it tandem ID. For the value, however, I am going to take the value from my exported CSV file. The value also shows up at the end of the HTTP link as well. In this way, I will tie this device to the specific connection in tandem. I will need to make two additional changes in the data connector as well. First, I need to change the endpoint URL to send payloads to the corresponding tandem ID value I just created. Second, I will remove the first part of the string as this contains the authorization for that specific stream. This allows me to send the stream data to the facility itself, providing an end result that looks something like this. Because of this, however, I will need to add the facility authorization data to the data connector. This can be found in tandem using the import from Azure dialog. Now I can save the data connector, go back to my device, update the temperature setting, and send a new event. And here we see the temperature successfully updated. Hopefully these examples can help you get started and to know what to look for when setting up your own device.